Hey everybody, thanks for showing up for this very special video. You all are about to join me and Adam for the official intro of this video. But one thing me and Adam forgot to mention, if you're a first time viewer and this is the first video of mine you've ever clicked on, this is a special video celebrating my two years on YouTube. And we'll be reviewing the projects from the last year, so if there's anything that particularly catches your eye, you go check out the video. And you can subscribe too because I have brand new woodworking projects every single Friday. Let's go join me and Adam for the official intro to this video. Dude, this is a special video. Special! Sleepo means wood shop special. Celebrating with some chalupas. Yeah. Celebrating with some chalupas from Taco Bell finally. Go we'll get that nacho cheese out there, dude. Got the lickings. And so, the, the notable things over the year. I kind of feel like Main Twitch Shop is sort of finding its finding its bearings out there on YouTube. Like mm -hmm. we've developed a core audience, which is what I I didn't have going into the second year. So I said uh, what I wanted to do. I remember saying uh, at the end of my one year video that I wanted to do some bigger projects, and I did. Like a dining room table. This, this specifically is what I had in mind. Like a coffee table. Like a coffee table. Also another thing with this year that was well developed was our follow-ups, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was that was a, an addition this year. Just mm -hmm. sort of hap started happening on our yeah, I think regular we've basis. A little bit more later in the second year too. They like us. Oh my goodness. To come here for the woodworking and stay for the shitty banter. Yeah, so I got the bigger projects made that I wanted to get made. So all my goal projects were kind of were kind of reached this year. I did want to do more outdoor projects. Just some interesting notes about the year is the most popular project from this last year was that pallet wood toilet paper holder. <laughs> Runner up to that was the tissue paper, and the least popular project. <laughs> It was uh, that fall slash Halloween pumpkin with the magnetic face that you put on there, which I thought was really cool, but our most popular follow-up was the banana boat one, which was actually when we were following up on this serving tray, and we talked about banana boats. Every, everybody wanted a piece of the boat. Banana boats. Everybody wanted on the boat. We're gonna do exactly like we did in the uh, last year, and then we're gonna look at every project that I made for this last year. I'm not going to look at any of the stuff from the first year because we already did that. We've already done that. I won't be able to look at every single project because some of that stuff is either given away as gifts. This will be some of these projects. All right. Only outdoor project made <laughs> in the whole year was, was that bird feeder. This is goals for year three. Oh, dude, you dumped out all their food. Oh, Wiggly, nobody's sitting on that, dude. dude. Nobody's been sitting on it with this taking a toll. I think I remember when, when you built this and we did the follow-up that like I was like, oh, that's kind of Wiggly, though. So. Yeah, it was just because I put these pins in here. Dude, and then as soon as you step in the house, you got the pallet wood magnetic key rack. I think the project did okay, but I think it's really cool. It's you just fucking, you just pop your key on. It's got good old uh, Charles Broderick Chuck, right here. Chuck Arnold. Oh, Chuck Arnold, is that Charles his name? Charles Broderick. I don't know. <laughs> Chuck Broderick. Immediately, right next to that. Oh, no, over here. You. This coat rack is not only, like, super nice, but this was the first project where me and you did a follow-up together. Is it? Yeah, and it had the rubber bumpers on the back. You said, like, rubber baby bumpers. Rubber, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Yeah, dude. Means woodshop hat bandsaw box. I don't think that video did. Dis disclaimer it cannot hold a whole bandsaw in that box. The title is misleading. It's cool, but I don't think anybody really cares much for, for that project. I hate the queen key. Yeah, one of the less popular. It just looks like a. It's got spider it looks like it. a sperm. <laughs> <laughs> that and every sander I had in the shop broke that day for some inexplicable reason. I think I only did like one coat of spray lacquer and I was like, I'm done. But it lives up there and it looks nice when you're like across the living room. <laughs> oh, Adam. What you got there, bud? Oh, no. The Japanese sandies, dude. Well, here we go. Here we go, Kevin. He's gonna wear them. I'm never I'm never putting mine on ever again, though. Look at the, the, the fucking Japanese traditionalism. See, and they weren't like really uncomfortable to be on. The problem with them is that wooden pig starts hurting your foot. So. Yeah. Oh, flexing, flexing. They just hurt your toes, is all. 
This was my personal favorite from this year. I think it's probably the fanciest thing I've ever made. Tapered legs. I mean, it is nice. Can't get that at Ikea. You can't. You cannot. The new and improved sofa arm table. And Got your, your remote. <laughs> Remotes in there. Remote and random, uh, just whatever you want to throw in there. Caleb's yeah. actually really good about keeping it cleaned out. I know me, I'd throw like old Cheetos and all mm, sorts I of shit. Small divot here that'll tray. hold 12 Cheez Its. Which I literally have only used for that intro and outro. <laughs> Well, I got lucky and I picked out a nice board of cherry because it's got like a lot of figure in the grain, a lot of waviness going on there. And this sapwood on this board and this board match up really well so it's, it blends nice on this side. The blanket ladder. Not for climbing, just for blankets. Just for blankets, not meant for climbing. Dude, that, this video actually did pretty good too. People like the blanket ladder. Just, I mean, just two by fours and I think like a closet rod or something. It's literally all you're missing is a live, laugh, love, live, laugh, love sign above it. I know, or it needs to be like right here. Yeah. I mean, you can. It does support. This, this is going to be the moment that it breaks and it's on camera. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Dude, do you want to take this moment to, to flex on your Stormtrooper helmets? Dude, this was just the Black Series one. Yeah. by Hasbro. So that's just as it is Dude. out of the box. Well, this one is a second generation cast of a helmet that was actually used on the on the movie set. Right. This is the... Caleb assembled this one. Yes, I had to assemble The it. other one came from the store. I was actually thinking about buying another helmet kit and doing that for her. May 4th, so it wouldn't be a woodworking project, but... Means Woodshop's nerdy side, everybody. Aren't you a little short for a stormtrooper? Yeah, I think I actually would be, and Mark <laughs> Hamill was right, because you really can't see anything. Nope. Was the second most popular project, pine tissue box thing, and it just, the bottom just slides off. So you can put the tissues in there. You can hide things underneath. But y'all are going to be mad at me because I made this one for the video and I had leftover wood, wood and I made this which wasn't a video and I feel like this one's kind of cooler because it has like a sliding dovetail lid with cedar and by the way pine and cedar pretty nice combination. That's the nicest finish I've ever gotten on pine. Feel it Adam, it's smooth. Touch it pallet wood uh, thing, whatever that was, so that was pretty cool poplar. And then this one, another pretty popular project. It's a step stool. Is the this, this step stool made out of all reclaimed pine. These were bed slats. Seems like something you'd see in like an old school like classroom. I mostly use it for refilling the birch. If you go straight into the kitchen room. The, the dining table it's itself, cherry and walnut dining table, and this was a nightmare to build. I didn't have a good time. The walnut had a lot of like natural tension in it, so I kept wanting to bow. Mm. There's just a whole, a whole plethora of projects over here. Like uh, the salt and pepper shakers, dude, maple and ebony. Yeah, I don't think that video did super great, but I, th I think they're really cool. Well, those are I'm nice. They're re salt and pepper shakers. really tasteful. And then the adjustable uh, napkin holder, which I had it for the longest time set up where these we're, we're standing up over here with this block holding them in place, and these were in here when they decided to change it around recently. The paper towel holder, which is also a box for storing well, that stuff. Just the serving tray in general, dude. I think that project did okay. And the first time I put splines in anything. Splines! In the floating bottom. I do love a good floating bottom. I do too, though. This was not a project. That was a Steve Ramsey project. Dude, the bread box, we did that a couple weeks ago, and that one was really cool. Ooh. I don't know, that doesn't sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I really like that bread box. I think it's pretty classy looking. Mm -hmm. Dude, and then the spice rack made out of reclaimed bed slats. That was the first project I did with the reclaimed bed slats. Go make you a spice rack. Go if I can make one. Y'all remember Oki? Oh no! Dude, the freaking uh, puffin or whatever it was. Oven rack puller. The toucan. This wasn't the oven shelf made for the video because that one was for Jennifer's mom, but I actually, I liked that idea so much that I made us one too, dude. I think people should make that project. Silverware organizer. Man, I really like this one a lot, dude. I had a mustache when I made this project. <laughs> so you remember the timeline of when you made it. I had a mustache back then. Yeah, it was me and 
Me and Adam, we were being the Mario Brothers, so yeah. that's why I had a mustache. We were, Mo we were Mario and Luigi. Even if you suck at woodworking, you should still make one because it'll still be better than like a store-bought plastic one. Oh, what else we get? Dude, the scrap wood bottle openers. That was a popular project. Hey, Adam, that's some of that mesquite that Charlie gave me. Oh, the, uh, the Swedish butter knife made with hand tools. It's, uh, it's in here with all the other ones. The several Swedish butter knives. Caleb loves Swedish butter knives. I've made a lot of them. This was the first one I, I ever made. Dude, and then there was this. It was my chips and dip tray made out of maple, and you put one of these things in there for dip, and I don't like it. <laughs> this project just, it looks kind of dumb. And I don't use it for chips and dip, you know? Actually, every time I make buffalo wings, I put them on this. <laughs> Dude, this was the first project for year two. It was the cedar bag recycler. With the French cleat? Yeah, with the French cleat. And we made the other one too, out of pallet wood. Remember the pop top in? That was year one. Pop a top! It's, this thing gets used a lot. <laughs> it does. <laughs> the bathroom cabinet, bro, out of western cedar and eastern cedar. This is a pretty popular project, video man. Pretty nice. Adam, here, I'll take the camera if you want to put your damn face in there and take a whiff, bro. Oh! Yeah, get you get, get your good whiff of that cedar. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good stuff now. Dude, and then the most popular project of this year, pallet wood toilet paper thing with the really cockeyed toilet paper. I mean, it happens. It still works. I mean, does it matter if it's a pallet project, if something is not lined up? I don't think it does. You can put a bar of soap in here. And there's this toilet paper tower, but this wasn't the one that I made for the channel. Yeah, that one's at your dad's. Yeah, Jennifer liked it so much, she won the ones. These nightstands came or a little bit after that uh, bag recycler, the cedar one. That's when, again, I was using a lot of cedar on this channel. And these were pretty fun to build, but I did have problems. They got these weird corners because I actually cut the miter angles like on the wrong side of my line. So it made them too short so these angles wouldn't match up. So I just flipped them around <laughs> and it was like, it's a design element. Yeah. yeah and then, uh, you don't remember the freaking phone the bed? The phone bed. <laughs> you didn't. I put my phone on it every night when I go to bed. I don't put it under the covers. Just, though. What? Whenever. It, no, I mean, just has to sleep out in the cold. <laughs> yeah. Every night when I go to bed, I just, I just, I just set it on there. Sometimes I set it on there like that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Your phone is drunk. That video really did not perform near as good as I thought it would. I thought I had a zinger with that. I mean, I did too. It was. He sent me a picture of it, and I just laughed my ass off the whole time. It was yeah. Like, it's genius. You just gotta let it marinate in that algorithm for yeah. a while. And then I think the only other thing in the room was the hat rack, which was pretty recent. <laughs> Dude, I think the hat rack is cool. I don't think that was a super popular project, but I think the hat rack is cool with the floating cherry board in there. Yeah, put your finger in there. Man. Do it. I see proof that he was. I, th I still have mine somewhere. Yeah, dude, mm -hmm. wore, wore that in the Halloween video. Adam, you remember the Harry Potter one? Oh yeah. <laughs> that was very. I think that video did okay, but and then the slingshot, which is really more of a fail than anything else. And actually, this video did pretty good, and a lot of people really liked it. But I don't really like it because the bands suck. But I did remove those uh, that twine and just drill the holes and put the those rubber bands here there. But whatever. I mean, the wood part of it's cool, I guess. The dice tree. You remember the dice tree, Adam? Oh yeah. We did the follow up for that at your house. It's made out of the same board that the uh, arm table thing was made out of. So that's pretty cool. And then we had kids' toys. I don't think I have all of the ones that were for the video, but just... Shake, shake and bake. Shake and bake. Those hold up good, but they just get dirty. Now, I didn't make a video for these, and I won't because this is a Steve Ramsey project, but they're too cool not to show off. It's for candy. I'll include a link to a Steve's video in the description. I like that project so much, I made two. Hi, Ben! Hi, Ben. He's eating, he's having his lunch of traditional Cheetos and... But yeah, dude, this was the most underwhelming video. Like, still, just like nobody... And I think it's really cool, because like, you set it up like this, like, before Halloween or after Halloween, it's just like, but then like, hidden magnets, you, like, when Halloween rolls around, 
And and you got a, a spoopy jack jack o' lantern. Oh, get it away from me, dude! I'm afraid. Yeah, like see, that's cool. But least popular video of this last year. This was a video we did, our our Halloween video. The all the spoopy candle holders, the ghost, which is gravestone, the purple heart witch hat, purple heart, purple heart that came off a of pallet, dude, the skull. The, the bat. Dude, those, those were cool. And, and again, that one did better than the pumpkin, but still. Holiday theme projects just kind of... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm still gonna make... What are you gonna them. do? I'm still gonna make them. That's what I'm gonna do. I think that that's ev everything that's ended up here. So we'll be moving on to a couple Whoa. other places where some other projects ended up. And then after that, me and Adam will get back with you again. And here in the shop where the magic happens, was that cherry and maple mallet I made a while back with the ebony wedges. It's good woodwork. And a lot of people told me that they were surprised how easily you can make a mallet with the method that I used to make this one. And, it, and the other shop project we made this year was um, ammonia fumed oak screw and nail caddy which is holding up really good. Yeah, that was really cool. I've always wanted to try ammonia fuming, so I was glad that I finally finally got to experiment with that. And uh, the only bad thing about that video was I had the music a little too high, so it was kind of hard to hear what I was saying. But I think Adam's right. It does look like something you would see in some like old man's shop. Here's a pallet wood bag recycling box. Y'all remember that one? It's a lot like the cedar one we looked at earlier, but which is it's kind of a redo, but what, I like this pallet it would so much that as soon as I saw it I knew I, I just I wanted it to be one of these and uh, it wasn't a very popular palette project but a lot of people like the rooster on there toilet paper tower that was a, a pretty popular project thanks Gary for your suggestion on making the toilet paper tower this is a super neat and uh, I think I said it at the house Jennifer liked it enough where she wanted me to make one for us too and I agreed because it's pretty nifty Man, that was a lot of projects. A lot. Like yes. More than I can count. Same here. We're not going to count them, but if you want to, you can scroll through till you hit that last anniversary video. And Jesus. I already did the bigger project things for year two, so I think more of my goals for year three is more focused on the channel. The quality of the channel over deciding what kind of projects I want to make. I would like to accomplish that goal of more outdoor projects. Hey, there's more room outdoors than there is indoors. So I think I think more of just like getting better equipment for the channel and improving the overall quality. Yeah, and oh, and music was something that was added. It this was year, music is which although I'm definitely added a new layer of quality mm -hmm. as well. I'd like to thank you all very much for giving this channel the boost that it needed over this last year. Finding that core audience was really cool. Edit that out. I'm just kidding. Done. Thank you very much for a successful second year. We're looking forward to this third year. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next Friday to start off year three with a brand new project. Catch you next time. Just look at him, Adam. Just look at him. Stare at him. Really look at him. <laughs>